Discover the hidden Israelite ancestry of some of the most powerful nations on earth. Watch as scripture unveils the terrifying future of America and Great Britain as revealed through the sabbatical and jubilee years. Discover the identity of Assyria and its role in this final jubilee cycle. Learn of the pending judgments that are to be soon poured out as a result of transgressing the sabbatical years. Sighted Moon. Well, shalom, man. Thanks for tuning in to Sighted Moon this evening. My name is Mitch. I'm here with Krista, Greg, and Joseph. And uh, tonight we are going to be discussing... Uh, I mean, there, there's really not any better better topic to discuss this time of year than the holidays, right, Joseph? Isn't this a? It's the it's the holiday season. Uh, everybody, I went to Walmart today, and uh, you know, Walmart's getting just totally just prepared. They've got signs all over all this stuff. Stay out. It's not not you know for sale until you know the the Black Friday sale. Getting uh, you know everybody prepared and hyped up for. For the holiday season, so uh, why why would they call it Black Friday? <laughs> you know, is that uh, got to, is, is that have to do with the Black Flag of ISIS? Is is that what they're relating it to, or what's going on here? I I have no earthly idea why Maybe it's it has called something Black to do Friday. With, like getting out of the black or out of the red into out, the black. out of the red yeah. into the black. Like That's why sanitary? wouldn't they call it Green Friday? Because they, they want your green stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it, you should be in charge of that day, <clears throat> Joseph. Yeah. Everybody well, sits around and eats turkey for tells what they're thankful for, and then they get up at midnight and trample each other for what they don't have. That's a that's a good tradition. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whew, man, that makes me proud. Proud to be in America. We're we're losing it here, Joseph. So yeah. Well, uh, we're not going to talk about Black Friday. Okay. Well, that's no. good. I thought you were going to talk about the helicopter being shot down, but we already talked about that. For all you that aren't list, uh, listening to our other show, we have another radio show that we do on Tuesday nights. And we talked in detail about the shooting down of the American, uh, the American, the uh, Russian jet yesterday morning in Turkey. And we showed you that where that would come in prophecy and what that's leading to in prophecy and how prophecy is being fulfilled on your nightly news in the world today. So, um, are you allowed to announce that here, Mitch, that uh, what you got going on? Because this would be a good time to do it right now. And they could listen to that show yesterday and then understand that this shooting of, down of the rescue helicopter as well ties into this and things are escalating towards the end of this age right now. Yeah, that is that is true. And um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you're, you're referring to... Um, some some other shows that we do throughout the week on on a different station and so you can actually go to outcryministries.com and, and find out about those archives and uh, sightedmoon.com has those archives up as well uh, because there are more shows that you guys can listen to uh, that we do throughout the week so and we very rarely have we ever done two shows the same back to back yeah yeah that's that's true there in fact I, I can't think of I can't think of any time that we have like done the same thing back to back. We we've we've played we tried a recording. to do one the same, but we <laughs> yeah. we, it, we just couldn't do it. Yeah, it just it just it just doesn't work. We're not we're not scripted, you know, on the Sided Moon radio show. It's not it's not scripted. Although Joseph really tries really hard to throw scripts at us, we just we refuse <laughs> them. So okay, I got a question for you, Matt. All right, let's get back line here. Do you love me? I, <laughs> That took me off guard. <laughs> no, I'm, well, I'm serious. I, you do, know, Joseph, you love me. I do. I do love you. I, I, I do. I, I can honestly say that I do love you. <laughs> is the Boy, feeling mutual? Red. <laughs> yeah, is the feeling okay. mutual? How, no, no. I'm asking the questions here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> How do I know that you love me? Oh, well, obviously, okay, because I just me, said it. Let me, <laughs> let me let you let, let you off the hook here a little bit. Let's pretend that I'm Jehovah. Okay. And I'm asking you the same question. Mitch, do you love Jehovah? And yeah, my answer would be yes. Uh and and 
a lot of people would probably say yes to that question, I would guess. That's right. And you're, you know, I'm asking you on behalf of all those people, do you love me, you know, as if I'm Jehovah? So the next question is, how do I know that you love me? That throws a wrench in the gears there, because um, the, the, <laughs> the simplest way to answer that would be that I would show you that I love you by doing... Oh, by works? Exactly, yes. Oh, hang on. No, that doesn't fly in most of the world. <laughs> All you have to do is just say you love me and say my name, and then you're saved, right? That Yeah, well, I... <laughs> I that is that is what a lot of people believe. Yes, you are correct. Okay, so which, which is wrong? We both say no. That's wrong. You do, you were about to say something before I interrupt. How would I know that you love me? Um, well, it, it would be that I would show you by operating in a specific way, and and according to what we're talking about here, loving Jehovah, uh, His Word gives us the answer to that. It's by obeying His commandments. Yeah, that shows okay, that so you, you actually trust Him. Yeah. Okay, what's what scripture is that? Uh, that you reading? Well, it's First John, I believe. Maybe th- is, it, ooh, is it three four? First, it's in First John. I can always get them mixed up, uh, but it's I, it's, it's in. I want to say John. five two or, or okay five something three like that, yeah, maybe. <clears throat> and if you say you love me, then you're going to keep the commandments. That's the scripture you're referring to, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the love of Elohim, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. And before that, Perfect. it says, if anyone... Thank you, Krista. That, that's, that's the exact one. This is Jehovah's <clears throat> will, that you love him. And by loving him, you have to keep his commandments. Mm-hmm. Greg, I cut you off. No, I, no, think, you I think that may have been me. And basically, I was saying oh, in that same okay. passage there, it says... It says, one who claims to know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Right on. <clears throat> you guys are moving right to the front of the class here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I was just anyway, going to say okay. that Jehovah is omniscient and he would know anyway. So I'll go to the back of the class now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, back, get back in the corner and put that dunce cap back on. <laughs> no. Um, okay, what, what am I, why am I asking this? Okay, there's another scripture that says, okay, if you love me, keep the commandments. So you, the thing is, we're going to love him, we're going to show him we love him by obeying him, right? That's, that's yes. what we're getting to. By obeying Jehovah, we show him that we love him. Mm-hmm. And those who say they love him, but don't obey him, are liars, right? Correct. Okay, I I want to make sure that I'm saying this properly and that I'm not saying anything anything that's not scriptural. Correct? I, yeah, you were you were right on. It's that's that's exactly okay. what the word says. So I believe uh, now I see. I'm sorry I didn't plan this, but we're just totally going off the cuff here. <laughs> we're having a conversation, and you can't <clears throat> script a conversation, so we're going off the cuff. It says in Deuteronomy not to add the to Torah. Mm-hmm. What scripture is that? Do you know four two? Maybe. <clears throat> Krista's Krista's flipping through right now. Do not yes, add to that's Torah. That's what it says. You shall not add to the word which I am commanding you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of Jehovah your Elohim, which I command you. Okay, so we don't add to Torah. Okay, so now the next question is: What did Yeshua say? was the scriptures <clears throat> the well in Matthew I think maybe you're referring to Matthew chapter 5 he he talks about the law and the prophets and the, that consists of what books um it consists of well what we would call the old testament no it not it's the first five books are the law mm-hmm. the psalms and the prophets okay there are also historical books in there, but he doesn't mention the historical books. Correct. You're right. He does not. No. So he says the law, which is the first five books, the Psalms, and the prophets. That's what Yeshua calls the scriptures. Okay. Does the scriptures include the New Testament, according to Yeshua? No, it does not. Okay. That's fairly simple, because they weren't even written then. Yes. Okay. So... 
do not add to the scriptures. Do not add to the Psalms. Do not add to the prophets. And do not add to the first five books. Correct? Correct. Okay. Now, next thing. It says in Exodus, Krista, Exodus 16.4. 16, uh -huh. Yes. You want to read it? Yes. Then Yehovah said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day, that I may test them, whether or not they will walk in my instruction. Okay, so how is he going to test them? He's, he's going to test the Israelites. How is he doing that? By seeing if they'll obey him or not. Yeah, okay, the but they're just the picking up manna. Yeah, he, he How's told that them a that, test? Well, because he told them to pick up a specific amount each day. So that's kind of a test there. It's like, are they going to pick up that specific amount? Are they going to pick up more? Are they going to not even try? What are they, you know, what are they going to uh, do? But the people did pick up more. Some picked up more, some picked up less, but each picked up enough for their family. I remember reading that. How is that a test? Is that the test that we just, you know, pick up a certain amount? Well, no, no it's, it's the fact that he gave instruction. The test is the Sabbath. Yeah. The next That's verse. the test. Will they pick up a double portion on, the sa on Friday? Or are they going to pick up manna on the Sabbath? That was the test. And some people went out looking for it on Saturday, and it wasn't there. And Correct. he got mad. And then shortly after this, there's some guy going around picking up sticks on the Sabbath. And how did he have to pay for flunking the test? He paid with his life. Yeah. Okay. So now, let's go over to um, Ezekiel 20. Is it 2011 that I'm looking for? Ezekiel 2012, 2012 I think 2012 Yes uh, okay. Go ahead Krista uh, It says Also I gave them my Sabbaths To be a sign between me and them That they might know that I am Yehovah who sanctifies them So the Sabbaths are a sign 